Why Samsung's next big leap in smartphone photography doesn't come from a foldable, but from a sleek, flat flagship. That's exactly what might happen with the upcoming Galaxy S26 series, especially with the rumored Galaxy S26 Edge. According to early reports, Samsung is planning a major upgrade to the ultra-wide-angle camera, jumping from the 12-megapixel sensor used on the Galaxy S to 5 Edge and S25 Plus to a much sharper 50-megapixel one. That's more than for times the resolution and a serious step forward for those who care about wide landscape shots, group photos, or dynamic videos. This new camera setup is expected to appear the model internally known as NPA2, where NPA stands for Next Paradigm, a codename suggesting that Samsung wants to push things further while still building on the current design. Internally, the S24 series was known as Eureka, and the S25 was Paradigm, now with Next Paradigm. Samsung may not be drastically redesigning its phones, but it's clearly focused on key upgrades that matter. If the rumors are right, Samsung might skip the Plus model entirely this time and instead position the Galaxy S to 6 Edge as a high-spec middle child between the base S26 and the powerhouse S26 Ultra that would make the S26 Edge the spiritual. Successor to both the S25 Plus and S25 Edge, combining the best of both in one model. While the overall design language might remain familiar, this shift in camera hardware alone could give users a very different experience, especially if Samsung includes additional enhancements like better low-light performance or improved video. Stabilization On the Ultra side, the S26 Ultra is expected to maintain its dominance with a 200-megapixel main camera and a 50-megapixel telephoto lens offering 5x optical zoom. There's still mystery around the rest of the Ultra's camera setup, but it's already looking like a serious tool for mobile photography. The base Galaxy S26 isn't left out either. Past leaks hinted that it could also see a camera upgrade, though details are limited for now. And while battery life and processing power haven't been fully revealed yet, it's safe to expect Samsung will bring improvements there too especially since every new generation aims to be faster and last longer. So will the Galaxy S to 6? Series might not bring a totally new look. The internal upgrades, especially in camera hardware, seem worth the wait. The camera jump alone could set a new standard for ultra-wide photos in the Android space. If Samsung truly replaces the Plus model with the Edge and gives the cutting-edge hardware, users will have one less confusing choice and a better phone in return. What if your next computer wasn't a bulky desktop or a heavy laptop but a phone that folds in half and fits right into your pocket. That idea has now become a reality with the Galaxy Z Flip 7. Samsung's latest foldable phone is not only thinner and sleeker, but it also comes with something no other flip model ever had support for Samsung DeX. That's the feature that turns your phone into a full desktop-like setup when connected to a monitor, TV, or other display. With DeX, you can open up a bigger screen version of your phone's interface, use a keyboard and mouse, and multitask, like you're on a PC. So yes, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 can now double as a tiny, foldable computer and that's a huge deal for users who want to do more with their phones. But here's where things got a little confusing at first. After the phone launched, many users thought it only supported wireless DeX, because in the new One UI 8, the DeX Quick Toggle was renamed to Wireless DeX, and the setting that usually lets DeX auto start when you connect an HDMI cable was missing that made it seem like wired DeX wasn't available at all. But it turns out that's not true. Thanks to some hands-on testing with an older Samsung DeX dock, it's been confirmed that wired DeX still works on the Galaxy Z Flip 7, so if you prefer a stable, faster connection for serious work, you can still plug your phone into a display and use it like a traditional computer. Samsung just didn't make it obvious. Wireless DeX is convenient and cable-free, which is great if you're on the go or just want to cast your screen to a TV, but it's not perfect. It often comes with lag, slower response times, and the performance just isn't the same. Wired DeX offers better speed and reliability, especially when handling heavier tasks. 
However, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 isn't as powerful or heat efficient as the Galaxy Z Fold 7, which means you won't get the absolute best DeX performance. The Flip 7 does run on the Exynos 2500 chip, and its slightly larger body might have helped Samsung finally add DeX without running into overheating problems that affected previous models. Until now, Samsung had avoided adding DeX to the Flip lineup, saying the internal structure wasn't good enough for heat management. But with this year's design changes, that issue seems to be partly solved. That said, if your main reason for buying a phone is to use DeX every day, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is still a better option overall. It has better specs, better cooling, and supports both wired and wireless DeX clearly and smoothly. Still, giving DeX to the Flip 7 is a big step in the right direction. Did you just buy the new Galaxy A56 and wonder when the next update will hit your phone? Well, here's some good news Samsung has just rolled out the July 2025 security patch for the international version of the Galaxy A56, and it's already landing on phones as we speak. This update comes with firmware version A56, 6BXXS, 5A, Y, FB, and is meant to improve the overall security of your device by patching known issues. If you're using the global variant, which is model number SMA566B, you can check for the update right. Now by heading over to settings, then tapping on software update and hitting download and install. Samsung has made it clear that this rollout will happen in phases, so don't panic if you don't see it immediately. Some users will get it today, while others might need to wait a little longer. What's interesting is that this is just the beginning. This small but important update is being seen as the first step before the bigger Android 16-based One UI 8.0 rolls out to the Galaxy A56 and other eligible devices in the coming weeks. That major update was officially launched with Samsung's new foldables the Galaxy Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7, and the Z Flip 7 Fan Edition. So it's only a matter of time before the A56, one of Samsung's most popular mid-range smartphones this year, gets the full One UI 8 experience. And in case you're wondering what's new in One UI 8.0, Samsung has packed in a long list of changes. From smoother animations and improved privacy controls to more refined widgets and upgraded Galaxy AI features, there's a lot to look forward to. But before we get to that, it's always good to have a stable base and that's exactly what this July security patch is doing. It doesn't change how your phone looks or works, but it keeps things running safely behind the scenes if you're someone who likes to manually install updates. You can also grab the firmware file from Samsung's official database and use the Odin tool to flash it yourself. But for most users, waiting for the automatic update is the safer and easier way. Samsung has become really consistent with monthly updates lately, and the A56 is part of the new generation of Galaxy of phones that are promised long-term support. So whether you care about security or just want your phone running smoothly, this patch is definitely worth downloading. Now, what about the European variant of the A56? Samsung hasn't released the patch for those models just yet, but it's expected to follow soon possibly within the next few days. So, if you're in Europe and haven't received anything, it's just a short wait. This shows that Samsung is not only focused on its premium devices, but is also taking care of its mid-range phones like the A56,